Hi everybody, I'm Suzanne Hall, the editor of the Chalkboard Mag. Welcome to our office. A season's change is a great time to kind of update your beauty routine, look for new ways to turn over some of those possibly toxic products for products that are yes. kinder to the environment and to your body, to your skin. Uh, today we're talking about products in our like daily go bags, stuff stashed in our desks, in our purses, in our cars. Okay, so I always have to have at least 10 lip balms on me. Um, this is one of my current obsessions, NA yes. Organics Luxury Lip Balm. Oh, oh yeah, it's so correct. good. So also I'm a sucker for the packaging. It's just simple cocoa-y, cocoa buttery yes. deliciousness. Um, What's one of your go-to balms actually on set? This has been, as soon that as one. this one landed. It's on my desk too. It's honestly pretty amazing. This is my go-to. My client sits down. First thing, even before they can ask for it, I give them a lip balm. Everybody likes to start and off. And do you do a lip scrub usually on set? I do, often. Now, brands like Hene, they make a beautiful, I think it's called oh. a rose exfoliant, a oh, rose diamond do? exfoliant. Oh. Yeah, um, organic ingredient oh, lip cool. scrub. So you yeah. just spread those two up. Yeah. In my bag. Okay, so I still have this in a box, but a dry shampoo, um, Rawa. Do you say Rawa? Yeah, I mean, not I always, Rahua. Yeah, Rawa. I always want Rawa. to say Rahua, but um, Rawa is one of, I think, the sexiest hair brands out there yeah. for natural products. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is their dry shampoo. It's incredible. It's non-toxic. Uh, no talc, um, nothing kind of crazy in here. You can use this to kind of refresh your hair um, if you're going out after work, um, you know, just kind of for a midday refresh. This is an incredible product. And it is actually somewhat difficult to find a good natural version of this. Because it's minus the aerosol. Exactly. It definitely takes a little skill to yeah. learn to use this. Yeah. Uh, but once you have it down, never without that one. That's my first pick. I love it. Okay. <laughs> um, so for my second thing that's always on me is a lipstick that is pretty much my lip color, but a little bit better. Amped up. Amped up. So this shade is fantastic. Mm. It's super sheer, it's very moisturizing, but not overly emollient, which is often a problem for me. In addition, it's a really pretty color. A little on the oh. cheeks. This is something my grandmother used to always do. And, uh, right? So cute. I have also seen you use this on a lot of clients. I know you use this on a lot of celebrity clients. Yeah, this is called Nobody's Baby, and it's funny, all my clients know this name because it's it's a pretty universally flattering pink, yeah. um, and I go, it is my go-to. And it's since it's an easy to use product, it's it's not something that they have to stare into a mirror in perfect lighting. So I'll slip this into a lot of my clients' bags as they leave for the runway. Plus it's very chic to look at. Yeah, and, uh, looks great. Yeah, and people can apply on the go in the car. Okay, do you have a secret for staying power with the lipstick like this? You know, I always tell people that you you need to look in the mirror every so Frequently. often anyway. <laughs> Just be vain. Just be vain because no matter what you have, when you put anything on your face, the chances of it moving or you're kissing somebody on the cheek and something rubs off. Yeah. You know, every so often, every couple of hours, it's not a bad idea to take a peek at yourself. So the, the main tips for keeping lipstick lasting longer is to put a little bit of foundation or concealer on your lip first. You can take a tissue, press the excess oil from that product out, then put your lip product on, mm -hmm. then take another tissue. Mm -hmm. You can even, it. Yeah, even if you take the first layer, take the like, two layers yeah. and peel apart. So you're just barely taking out the oils. Mm -hmm. That keeps the uh, color pigment particles on your lips longer. Okay, yeah. I and love that. And also layer. no shame in reapplication. No. Okay, Okay. great. Um, this, to segue, this might be perfect for helping yeah. your lipstick stay on. Good point. Uh, well People's Narcissist Foundation Stick. I love this product. So this is kind of a dupe for maybe NARS, um, even like old school, like Bobby Max, Brown. yeah, Max Factor yeah. pancake stick. Yeah. So this is incredible stuff. Um, as you can see, it's just stick foundation. So this is um, super sheer. And what I love about it is, you know, a bonus in using natural products is that they're usually great on your skin and for your skin. Right. And my skin's pretty sensitive. So. This stuff will never make me break out, never irritate my skin. So this is my daily, daily go-to. So I actually put this on in a way that the founders laughed at me when they found out how I used it. They wanted to know, well, how do you like to put it on? And apparently pros like Katie put it on, um, you know, stick to razor with a brush. I actually put it on like a preschooler 
I just oh, yeah. throw it on like this. Have you ever seen old footage of Kevin Aquan putting makeup on? No, is that for what fashion he does? shows? He holds Kate Moss down. <laughs> oh, see? One step closer to Kate Moss. Perfect. Yeah. They also make this stick in um, like blush tones. You can use it just like you used mm -hmm. Ilya right on the lips and the mm -hmm. cheeks. Um, but I love, love, love this foundation. So clean, so natural, um, super reliable and safe. Mm -hmm. And it's like such a great tool to have in your bag. Um, okay, so another must have in my bag all the time is some sort of scent. I just love this Satori perfume oil. Okay. It's beautiful, the scent is delicious, and um, whenever I wear it, I always get asked, what are you wearing? Um, yeah, and so sure. I'll often mix this with a citrus essential oil, and it turns it into something completely different. I love that. Do you ever mix it with something different to like, Oh, all the time. You know, make, not citrus? Yeah, I'll mix it, I'll add more sandalwood to it. I really yeah. like that. So um, fun. Yeah. Delicious. And we should mention too, uh, if you are going to change something this season that's natural, perfume is an incredible place to start. Uh, perfume that. can be one of the most um, toxic ingredients you can put on your skin. And you have to remember your skin's absorbing ingredients you put on uh, just as though you're eating it. And perfume can really hide some nasty, toxic ingredients. It's not very well regulated. Um, you know, a brand can just put fragrance on their label and, hide, perfume, any, and hide anything in there. So yeah. elegant. I actually found out one of my absolute favorite perfumes is on the worst offender list as far as toxicity. So finding a natural perfume, super key. Um, my next always on hand, always in my bag is a total natural beauty cult classic. This is RMS Living Luminizer. Would you say this is one of the top staples? As Absolutely. far as like, I think makeup artists across the board probably use this. I'll show you a little bit what this looks like. For one, again, this little glass pot is so chic. It's an incredible highlighter. So you can put it tops of your cheekbones, down your nose, in the bow of your lip, um, brow bones, you're really the pro here. Inner corners of the eyes is always a nice one. Yeah, so anywhere you want the light to really hit mm -hmm. and really uh, bring out your features. Yeah. Um, any avoid, kind of highlighter. Avoid the two fingers on the side of the nose, that area okay. you don't want. Okay, great rule. Every beauty blogger I know in the green space, this is on their short list. And she's come out with a much darker highlight for women with darker skin tones, Baruti Bronze, which is that's a really amazing. nice compliment to that. And that's a wonderful trend that's finally happening in natural beauty too, is yep. colors for every skin tone, which is really exciting. For sure. Um, so yeah, Living Luminizer. Is that it for your no, products? No, I have one more. Is that oh, okay? Yeah, of course. Um, so ever since I met um, Hope Gillerman, Obsessed. you know these. Uh, yeah, I've carried Tension Remedy in my purse nonstop, and it's always, I mean, I feel almost like a broken record. Somebody has a headache, somebody's about to pass out, somebody's exhausted. You need some of this. <laughs> it's so true, though. It's so true. Peppermint oil, I mean, I really got into essential oils and love them, but... Right, I need some. Um, and if you don't carry an essential oil in your purse, I think this is a great brand to start with. And if you carry ones that are not organic, switch. It, again, it's the same thing. It's you're ingesting it through your skin, so and through your nasal passages, you're bathing in it essentially. So if you have a headache, drops on your temples is great. In the back of your neck, if you're not prone to be, you know, get the chills, it can actually cool you off if you're overheated. Amazing. It's great for everything. Um, my facialist puts a drop on her hand and then licks it. Whoa. Breath freshener. Intense. It's great for all <laughs> for whatever ails you. I love it. I, I will also give folks a hand massage with it, put a little lotion in my hands. And yeah. It's just a good reviver. Amazing. And if this you open it great. on the plane, which is usually where I am these days, yes. um, everyone around you is like, oh, it's, it's like refreshed, yeah. revived. So this is H. Uh, Gillerman Organics. This is also a brand I consider like a real chalkboard staple. Amazing stuff. Uh, so that's it for our picks for uh, daily in my bag products. Remember that everything here is natural, safe, non-toxic. Uh, we're gonna be talking about natural beauty products all fall. Uh, everything you see here comes from credobeauty.com. If you're watching this on the chalkboard, all the products will be below this video. You can check out more information there and get to shopping. Katie, thanks again for joining us. My pleasure. We'll be back all fall, a little bit of summer too, and uh, be talking about natural beauty. Yeah.